All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, we'll be talking about how to play your advantage in Tarkov. Before we get into this, let me explain that this is one of the videos uh, with a series of videos I'm going to be doing on combat to help newer players, men, maybe older players, get back into the swing of combat and some tips and tricks that I use and I see other people use uh, to help them win fights and stuff like that. Things I think that are very crucial and things that need that you need to think about every time you go into a gunfight in Tarkov. But this one in particular, playing to your advantage, mean, what I mean by that is mostly stacking everything in your favor, stacking all the cards in your hand, be it positioning, be it uh, buildings that you're in, be it knowing how many people, whatever it may be. We're going to put all that information into one and you're going to play your advantage. But I'm going to speak on some things that I think are universal that aren't necessarily di like different fight to fight. These things are just normal things that happen in every gunfight and things that should run through your head. That'll give you a higher success rate in winning gunfights and it'll allow you to play the fight at your pace you don't always have to feel like you have to be aggressive if they're being aggressive stuff like that this will allow you to play at your own pace and learn the style that you like to play as but before we get into that guys i'll be streaming this whole wipe over on my twitch channel link will be in the description i'm grinding for kappa uh, i stream 8 a.m cst monday through saturday just hop in talk to his chat with us i love talking to you guys over there and uh if you are enjoying these type of videos, these informative Tarkov videos, we talk about this stuff all the time. We have conversations. We talk about combat. We talk about just Tarkov in general here on this channel. So if you like that, consider subscribing. I make these videos all the time. I try to have one out every two to three days. And uh, if you're enjoying this video, consider leaving a like. I'd really appreciate it. It's always appreciated here. And it helps us with that dreaded algorithm that we try to get into here on YouTube. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So knowledge is a big thing to me in Tarkov. Uh, I, I always say that knowledge is probably 80% of Tarkov, like when it comes to combat and PVP and just being successful in general in Tarkov, a lot, a, a lot of people think that you have to have good gun skill and stuff like that. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. You knowing the map layouts and player movements and building layouts and stuff like that will, will help you be, will raise your, raise your survival rate 10 times what it is because knowing, knowing where everything's at, knowing where people can push from, knowing where people spawn, knowing the, the 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 doors like in and out of the building windows you can jump in all that stuff makes you way more proficient in winning fights and holding good angles knowing how to catch your enemy off guard and knowing how to hold a position better than most people would so the thing is about knowledge though is that you're never going to get it if you don't play so the biggest thing i can say here is that just learn maps the best thing i like to do is just go on offline raids learn the maps another big thing that i preach in all my videos is that if you have the ability to save your footage if you are really really dedicated on improving in tarkov and improving your play skill and all that stuff like that your combat skill make sure that you're recording your gunfights and stuff like that if you really want to improve watch it back see what you did wrong and try not to do it again just put a mental note and be like okay i can't do that oh i should have reloaded right here oh i should have moved from here shouldn't have peaked him here stuff like that things that you can just be like oh okay i'll not do that next time that that kind of knowledge stuff is way more way more crucial in this game than just being good at shooting people because like we've seen before that you can have a varying different play styles and be successful in this game and uh I think a big thing is knowing like especially if you're going to hold a position just holding knowing the building layout knowing in knowing the exit doors knowing if you can jump in windows knowing all the little tips and secrets like on dorms how you can jump off of the third the third story balcony down into the second floor window stuff like that knowing these little ins and outs of the games will help you win gunfights because not a lot of people know how to do those or even know they exist so you'll catch a lot of people off guard but knowledge is key when it comes to playing your advantage you have to have you have to have a, a plethora of knowledge in tarkov to know to know every like not everything obviously everybody's not gonna know everything but knowing how to play that building or that map or the gun you're using or to your advantage if you're sniping or if you're using certain armors or doing a certain quest stuff like that it all comes into play so don't worry about being good at aiming just worry about knowing knowing your surroundings and knowing where people are going to spawn the movements and like the ins and outs and stuff of the map the layouts of everything just way more that is way more crucial than just being good at shooting people. So if you're holding ground, like more of a defensive position, like if you hear somebody running up or you know that people are gonna be pushing to the building because you just killed maybe Rashala in dorms or something and you know people are gonna be pushing you soon, 
Uh, keep an ear out. Obviously, that's something that everybody does in the game. This is nothing new. But make sure you're listening for a certain amount of footsteps because you can definitely hear. Some people might not hear multiple footsteps, and I've noticed it a lot. Some Recently, this way, people don't hear multiple sets of footsteps, so they'll guess they're just one guy running in, but it's like two or three guys. If you can hear multiple footsteps and pinpoint that there's more than one, that's always a key thing to know before you get into a gunfight that you know that you need to kill at least three to be cl so so and so clear you're never clear in tarkov there can always be another person that can always be a scav so just just know that how many people are going to be pushing you at that mo at that point in time and also knowing where they're going to be coming from so if you are in dorms and two or three guys are pushing you knowing that they can they can jump in first floor on the l section on the first floor through a window that's an entrance they can jump in through the back door the back window in the in the bathroom and stuff like that knowing every angle that they can push you into like from like entry into the building is a, is a place that you can probably hold an angle so if you know they're going to be running and jumping in maybe hold an off angle on the bathroom window if they jump in shoot them and then transition to the to the l window where they jump in and shoot them as they come in uh, the biggest tip i can give for holding ground is never let your enemy inside the building try to keep them outside the building as much as possible because there's always that fear for the people that are pushing that they're going to run into run into barrels if the first guy that jumps in the window dies they're going to be very hesitant to push into the building because they're going to be thinking oh he's holding he's holding the entrances so that's a good thing to stack stack a lot of like getting somebody right off the jump jumping into the building that stacks all the cards in your favor because they're going to be they're going to be playing a lot more passive in that gunfight they might even disengage and wait for you to run out but the thing is is that never let them into the building try your best not to but once they do you don't want to give up too much real estate if you let somebody in the building if you can't hold off every single one of them try not to give them the try not to give them a floor or a whole section of a building try to keep them confined into just that entrance or just in that little area where they entered in because you don't want them to have free reign to move around and maneuver themselves into angles to where you can't where you're not knowing where they're going to be you want to make sure you know where they're at at all times in that building you don't want to you don't want to give them too much real estate inside the building and when you're setting up positioning for a fight inside the building with an enemy that's pushing you inside you always want to have a place uh, you want to have positioning where you're advantageous to have different angles to peek from you don't you don't want to pigeonhole yourself into a room i've seen way too many times this wipe i'm fighting a player or multiple players and they will just get inside a room close the door and wait for me to open the door to push them and pray that i kill pray that they head tap me as i run through the door that is a terrible strategy if i have nades i can nade you out that room if i just want to spray through the door if i have enough ammo i can just spray you through the door and it all boils down to if there's multiple people on my team you're not going to win that 90 percent of the time yeah there's always that one off chance you can head tap me but the thing is is that you always want to be in an advantageous spot to have multiple angles to peek, multiple angles to push from, and you always want to have an exit strategy. Never back yourself into a corner. Never back yourself into a way that you have no way out. Always have a way out. Even if it's jumping off the roof of a building or out of a third story window or a second story window, you won't die jumping out a window. You pop painkillers, you hit the ground, your legs will break, but you'll be away from the building. You'll be away from the threat. You can run away. So never back yourself into a corner to where you cannot escape at all and always have a position that you can rotate from. You can rotate different angles. Don't don't pigeonhole yourself into peeking one angle only because if they know that there's no other angle you can peek from, they're going to have, if there's multiple people, they're going to have a guy sitting on that angle while somebody pushes you and you're going to die. The second you peek that angle, you're going to die. So that's one thing I would like, like to, to stress the most is that always have an extra strategy and and always have a position that you can peek multiple angles from. Okay, so being aggressive. Uh, most people think being the aggressor in a fight really doesn't put you at an advantage. They would think, you would think that sitting back and waiting for them to push to you would be a better way to play to your advantage, but you can honestly, a lot of people in this game and I, and, and if you've played this game for any extent of time, you know that the second like somebody starts pushing you and they start uh, they start pressuring you, you get that intense like anxiety feeling or the the like your hands get sweaty and like you start like listening to every little detail every little thing puts you on edge so you can definitely be aggressive and have the it play to your advantage while being aggressive but it's not as aggressive as like i would say like landmark and willis and then where they just w key and they know how to do it like they just w key into a building and just head tap everybody 
you you could do that if you're that good, but some people aren't. So here's what I think is a good way to do it while also being aggressive because being aggressive is a really good a really good play style that you can use to your advantage if you know how to use it right. But going going in close like a, the thing that I do the most is that I'll go up to a building if I know people are in there, I'll sit outside the building for a second or I'll walk around, I'll run up a staircase or I'll run up to a door, open it, close it. Like I'll mess around with the entrances or run up against the building to where I know like people will sit in this corner. So I'll go to that corner of the building on the outside and listen to see if I can hear them shifting or aiming in or whatever. You want to gain as much knowledge before you get into the building because for one, you don't want to run into barrels. Two, you want to know how many people are in the building. And three, you want to have you want to have them guessing where you're going to entry from, especially if you have if especially if it's just one person and you're solo, it's a lot easier for them to just hold every angle and wait for you to push through one. So maybe just if there's like four or five entrances, maybe it's dorms and you have both staircases to go up all the way to third. You can go through the front door. You can go through the windows like just mess around with each entrance, open a door, run back and forth. Uh, a good thing you can practice doing is running back and forth and holding down middle mouse and moving your camera. So you can, if you don't know in Tarkov, you can run back and forth in front of a door and press the middle mouse button and your and your character will turn his head but still run in the direction you were running. So that's a good, it's hard to do sometimes and it takes some time, it takes some times to do it to get actually pretty good at it. But that is a key way that I use to see if somebody's holding an angle on a doorway. And 90% of the time, they'll shoot you. If you run across it a couple times, they'll try to shoot you. And that lets you know somebody's watching that. So, okay, that's off the table. You've got to go somewhere else. So that's the kind of information I'm talking about playing slow, like not necessarily just running in the building. So you want to know where they're going for. And once you figure that out, you want to... You want to know the angles that they're going to be obviously holding. Once you see somebody holding that angle, you, you've played the game enough or went to buildings enough to know the angles people hold normally, like just holding long hallways on third, like third story dorms. Somebody will sit at the end in the hallway and watch as you run up the middle staircase to see if it's an obvious, it's a, it's an obvious hold and it's an easy hold for somebody down at the end of that hallway. So you want to keep in mind the normal spots people hold so you don't just slow peak an angle like that and get head tapped you always want to use the strategy of running back and forth because like it used to be the the ad strafe now it's pretty much you run back and forth across the angle to see if somebody's going to be shooting you or do the head tilt to see if somebody's going to be down there you know what i mean so and once you do that you want to just when inside you want to play a little slower and listen because once you're in once the other enemy knows you're inside they're going to be they're going to be frantic to get to an angle or hold an angle and stuff like that. And they're going to be moving back and forth to make sure that you're not pushing from a different angle. If it's just one hallway, then you obviously know they're going to be holding that hallway. But once you're in a building, you don't have to play like creep walking slow, but just play a little slower to make sure you get all the information again. And I would say once you get one kill, it's normally normally enough to set a whole team in a frenzy to move to maybe re like i don't know like trade kills almost i would I, that's kind of a bad analogy for that but i would say they would run to trade kills but they're gonna move because they'll know exactly where you're at you kill somebody he'd be like okay he's middle stairs well this guy's gonna push down to because he knows that all this real estate you're not there so he's gonna push down to where he's holding you on middle stairs but being aggressive if you shoot the guy on the first on the first floor run up the stairs you'll know the guy's going to be pushing down to get you so you can run up there and shoot him as he's pushing you. So it's like you want to you want to listen to know where everybody's at, gain all the information and play aggressive with that information. You don't want to allow them to close in on you and hold you into a room or a staircase to where you have no exit and you have no way to move around the the building. Is the best thing to do when you're being aggressive. So just keep that in mind. You don't ever want to get stagnant. You don't ever want to slow down. Once you get a kill, you want to keep being aggressive. Well, guys, I hope that helps you be a little more confident in Tarkov and uh, help you in your gunfights and knowing uh, when you have the upper hand in the fight and helps you cognitively think of these things in every every aspect of fighting. Not just like I, not just like the examples I gave. Not just dorms. This can be applied to literally any gunfight, be it in the woods. Uh, anywhere you know what I mean it could be on any map in any in any area so I hope that helps a little bit though and if you have any tips or tricks that you use or things that help you uh, hold positions or be a little more aggressive things that 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 gives you success in a gunfight or gives you the upper hand let me know in the comments I love talking to you guys about it and it also helps out a lot of other players that 
if I miss something in these videos, I can go in the comment section, check it out, and give a little bit more tidbit than I can give. You know what I mean? I can't speak for everybody in this game, and I've and it's good to see everybody coming together and and giving out tips and tricks and ways that they figured out how to play the game too. So let me know in the comments again, and if you want to hop in the Twitch stream, we could talk about it there too. I love talking to you guys over there as well. But guys, that's all I got for you. I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.